The bag ordinance is intended to reduce the fiscal and environmental impact of plastic waste, thereby helping protect and enhance the beauty of our waterfront community. The ordinance was a positive first step in reducing Norwalk's plastic footprint, but there's much more to be done, and much more than can be done by any one municipality acting alone. That's why I'm excited at the prospect of Norwalk and Stanford working together to address the environmental issues we both face. Norwalk and Stanford have much in common, from our location along the Long Island Sound to increasing cost of waste removal and disposal. By working together on environmental issues, we believe we can make a larger impact both regionally and in the state than either of us can alone. As two of the largest cities in the state, we want to set an example for Fairfield County and the rest of the state, if not New England and the country. To this end, our first joint action, if you will, is the submission to both the Norwalk Common Council and the Stanford Board of Representatives of a proposed ban on plastic straws and stirrers. We all know that plastic bags are bad for the environment, but few people realize that straws are among the top 10 items found on, during beach cleanups and can do much harm to seabirds, turtles, and other marine creatures. The average plastic straw is used for 20 minutes, yet it takes up to 200 years to degrade when it does degrade. It breaks down into microplastics that are ingested by marine and land animals, working their way through, into our food chain. Very few straws can or will be recycled. They end up in landfills or in our waterways. This is a team effort. We cannot do it alone, and we can't do it by ourselves. We need to bring in all of our residents. We need to educate the public. We need to make them understand how we can keep our earth clean. We have water here that we have to make sure we remain, that we keep clean. Uh, all the people who live along the waterways, uh, we need to educate them on what they can do individually and collectively to make sure that we keep our waterways clean. So while we have in Norwalk and Stanford reduced uh, or eliminated plastic bags in the various stores, this is the next step that we can take. And then there are other steps after that we should look at and explore and make sure that we do everything and that we lead the way in Lower Fairfield County. We lead the way not only for the rest of the state, but the rest of the uh, New England and the rest of the country. Interestingly enough, I think there's something even more significant about us being together here today, Stanford and Norwalk. We cannot save this planet one person at a time. We have to start one person at a time, but we must have collective action. And the actions that are being taken in Stanford and in Norwalk hopefully will be picked up and adopted by this state, and hopefully the actions taken by this state will be picked up and adopted by this country, and hopefully the actions taken by this country will be picked up and adopted around the globe. For we faced the greatest ecological disaster that mankind has ever wrought upon itself, and that is global warming. And we can't do it by ourselves, we have to work together. And while this is but a small step for man, Perhaps this is one of those great leap forwards for mankind, 